everybody. This is Vibrant Life episode 26. I'm Jessica Parker. I'm a holistic health coach with a master's in health psychology and a fitness instructor. I just really wanted to share my personal story. So I am not, you know, suggesting people do exactly what I do. I'm not a doctor, all the things. I had the infamous virus going around. Fairly recently, I tested my antibodies and they are there. Um, so indeed I did have it. I've thought that I had it before, like last year, and I tested antibodies then and I did not apparently. So I do think that that <clears throat> happens to a lot of people. Now I did not go get tested for the actual thing because A, I work from home. It's pretty easy to just keep to myself when I need to. I did at one point think, well, maybe I'll go get tested and then, um, <laughs> kind of silly to me. It's like they're all the sites are um, closed here where I live on the weekends, which makes no sense to me if it's supposed to be so scary, but whatever. Plus, I believe that those um, tests are inaccurate. And so I do believe that some people have thought they had it when they didn't and all the things. So that's my personal opinion based on the stuff that I've seen out there for months and months. Take it or leave it. But the things that I did, I will say, you guys, that I have um, protocol that I can actually like forward you. It's not from me. It's from people that I follow who are in ministry who they had it months and months ago. They have um, shared their protocol and they've shared where you can get certain things that you might not be able to get where you live. And with that, I will say that one thing that I did do was I took the thing that starts with an I that people are freaking out over. I did a lot of research and in the beginning I got some like just to have it on hand. I live in um, Oregon and doctors are being actually like turned in so it's harder to get. So you again in the information if you're interested send me a message. I will forward this to your email and um, you can potentially get a hold of things that are really there's so much good research to back the basically life-saving qualities of these things that um, are being vilified. That's the word I'm looking for. And anyway, so without getting too much into that, I just wanted to share a few things that I did. One thing I <clears throat> always do, and I, I still have a residual like thing going on here. Um, which I know there are some things that are pretty long lasting. I don't completely have my smell and taste back. I mean, definitely better than it was, but those are things that I've heard that are just long lasting. It's interesting because I don't think that happened to me until I was like feeling better. It's just interesting, but I never got like bad, bad. I mean, I just, to me, had it not been in this quote season, I would have felt like, oh, I have the flu, you know? I never had a fever. I felt run down, um, especially like toward the afternoon, evening, which I have autoimmune stuff that when they're, when it's flared, it's, that's kind of a typical thing for me. But with this, I had aches, not really chills necessarily, but I would get really achy, but that was probably the worst of it. I also had some respiratory stuff, but it, it was not bad. I wasn't coughing. It wasn't bad. I personally have had bronchitis several times um, in the past. One time it got so bad that I, I was coughing really bad and I um, pulled a muscle in my ribs, which the doctor said, well, it is going to feel like it is um, fractured, which I was like, oh my, like it was so painful. He could tell from certain things that he did that it was a pulled muscle not a fracture and he gave me an inhaler so that I could breathe a little easier because it was actually at the part of my um, illness where I was like doing a lot better I just still had this cough and and then I pulled that muscle and so it was hard to take real deep breaths and I was ready to start running again so anyway he prescribed me an inhaler one night after I had the inhaler I woke up um, and I hadn't even used the inhaler at all, but I woke up not breathing, like even a little bit, no air in or out. I'd never had that kind of experience. I don't have asthma. Anyway, knowing that once you've had 
things like bronchitis, you're more susceptible to respiratory stuff. Sure, I was nervous. Nobody wants to get the thing going around, you know? Nobody. Like, I am definitely somebody who is real about I don't want it, but I also um, reserve the right to, to put whatever I want into my body. I'm very careful about what goes in my body because I do have autoimmune stuff that I personally trace back to certain toxins in my body. That's for another show. This is, this is what I've done. Whenever I get sick, I do these two essential oils in particular, oregano, which I meant to bring the little capsule in with me, but it's a tiny little clear capsule, a little gelatin capsule. You do not want to put oregano in your mouth. <laughs> I've done it and you'll just sit there and like tears will run down your face. It's a very hot oil, but it acts like nature's antibiotic. And the cool thing about oils are that, which medication is, you guys, based off of plant medicine. It's just, they're copied, but then you get all the fillers and side effects. But it's, since it's oil-based, it actually penetrates the cell wall and it can get inside of the cell versus antibi antibiotics, which are water-based and cannot penetrate the cell wall. So this can be even more impactful. I never am without this in my house. Um, whenever somebody is feeling like starting to fight something, then I get, it's like, here comes mom with the oregano and the little capsules. In fact, we went to over the mountains this summer to Sun River and it was like, it was when there were some fires going on and it got really smoky over there and I had my oregano with me. And so my kiddo had his friend and like, we all took oregano because it's really good respiratory support as well. So when you're actively fighting something, you should take it more than once. Um, I took it several times a day. I would put like three or four drops in a little capsule. And then On Guard also is a good one. Um, this is doTERRA. This has things like clove and citrus. So you're getting like a more vitamin C support, but also things that are going to fight the bacterial stuff and viral stuff and support your immune system. So those are two things that I use all the time that I was doing as preventative stuff. But then once I got the thing, then I like really ramped it up. I was doing all the things. In the protocol, everybody knows you need to take zinc. Everybody knows you need to take vitamin C. This is the one I use. Um, you need to make sure that you're getting a, a high quality bioavailable form. You can take a crap ton of vitamin C. You can take so much vitamin C that basically what's gonna happen when you know, okay, this is my cutoff is you will have loose stools. I was taking a lot and probably could have taken more, but prob I was taking at least uh, 5,000 milligrams. You can take even more than that. I mean, there are things that I did that I could have done better and I probably should have taken more. D3 is another one. Please take K2 with it because if you're taking um, D3, it can calcify. This is like newer information that we're finding from research. Um, and obviously you don't want that calcification in your body. So D3 with K2, that's another one taking a lot of D3. And then melatonin is one. I don't always take it. I was taking it obviously at night, but that's um, really good for your, your immune system. Plus it'll help you sleep. You guys, sleep is one of my downfalls and that's why I know that I got sick. Well, I struggle with it from my autoimmune stuff, but I'm also just a night owl. I just am. I always have been, um, like always. But if you're not resting, it does not matter. You can be doing all the things. If you're stressed out, not resting, you're going to get hit with something, you know, you're just not giving your immune system the um, chance that it deserves. So melatonin. And then I was, I was taking, and I never have this in my house, but I have it in my house now because, um, the clotting thing, which can happen from the illness or it can happen from the thing in the arm. So I was taking one a day. Aspirin. I had all of this, you guys. This is so important. Please make sure that you are ready because you never know. And you know what? Other things can be happening too. This is cold and flu season. Pneumonia happens. Like, please, for the love, just be prepared so you're not like sick. And then A, you shouldn't go anywhere. And B, you don't feel like going anywhere. So please be prepared. Um, I had all of this on hand before. This is a nasal spray and it's a natural one that um, I just had because of my kiddo had had some kind of thing like 
over a year ago. Anyway, it has, um, I can't read it. Hold on here. It has purified water, xylitol, and then sodium chloride and grapefruit grapefruit seed extract. So I would, you just like, you know, spray it in a nostril a few times and it really, I just felt like helped clear everything. It was like super helpful. I was just kind of doing a little bit of everything. Again, I wasn't like super congested or anything. I just never wanted to get to the point where I had to go in. So I was doing everything possible. Colloidal silver. I know some people have certain things about it. I will link to an article below. You have to make your own decisions about certain things. I use this whenever I have some kind of like um, upper respiratory, like anything like that um, to knock crap out. And again, you need to do your own research. And this is the thing where I feel like people are like, oh, I don't know if I want to take that medication that's been on the market for 60 years and safe. But that thing that goes in your arm, uh, they're not really being transparent about what, what's in it. We don't know because it's new, um, but sure, because you know what? It's politically correct. That's my thing, you guys. We should be able to make our own decisions. That's all I'm going to say about it, and I'm not getting in discussions about it. Last thing that I'm going to share is um, this Himalayan salt inhaler. I don't know if that's backwards for you. I discovered this past year, um, this place that I, a boutique that we have in, in Albany, I don't know where you are, but in Albany, Oregon, Mesmerize, which I'm not going right now, but I get my lashes done there. Um, they're such wonderful people. Chelsea, the owner, got in a halo therapy booth, and I started doing their infrared sauna because I know it's so great for inflammation and I have autoimmune stuff which stems from inflammation friends so when she got the halo therapy booth I was like "Ooh, what's this um I want to try it so there's a little machine that you put salt in it and it disperses the salt as you're in there so you're breathing in this salt plus there's blocks of pink Himalayan salt back behind you like um within the little like I don't know what you call them, the piece of the slats of wood. Anyway, so you, you're surrounded by salt, you're breathing it in and salt, just like you think of like the pink Himalayan, like the salt lamps, they really purify because they grab the impurities out of the air and the impurities and toxins stick to it. And so when you're breathing that in, it's doing the same thing within your system, within your respiratory system. It's also supposed to be really good for your skin and you can leave feeling energized, which I have when I go in there and sit in there for like 20 minutes and you're just breathing in really deep, which that's another thing you should be doing right now. Any preventative stuff, whether it's this current virus or other stuff, we don't breathe deep enough. And, and specifically that virus can like sit in your lungs to where you're not breathing through and getting crap out. You know, that's one of our detox mechanisms in our bodies. Um, so definitely be doing that regularly. But if you go and sit in something like a halo therapy booth, that's something you should be doing. Well, obviously when I was ill and I felt like, hmm, could this be? Well, I'm not gonna be going everywhere, right? So I ordered this and of course, you know, the wonderful world of Amazon, it was here the next day. So this is all it is. And I, I can't share this with anybody because my germs are on it and you're breathing, your mouth is on it, you're breathing it, like you can't share it with anybody. So, but it was like 20 bucks maybe. And it was, I was like, oh, I need that, that halo therapy. Well, this was like the next best thing. There's pink Himalayan salt, you can hear it, in there. And what you do is breathe in through your mouth and out through your nose. So you just sit there. And you're supposed to do it for like 15 or 20 minutes. Now you can sit and go, oh my gosh, that's what? 15 or 20 minutes. But sit there and watch a show, you know? And I can feel a huge difference. And so I was doing the pink or the halo therapy booth as like preventative stuff and then and then obviously, you know, couldn't, and I had this. And so my thing about that is you should be going and doing something like that. If you have that near you, go do something like that. Um, go also use an infrared sauna, whether you have 
autoimmune to do that, but it reduces inflammation. Inflammation is one thing that impedes our immune system. Um, so it can also help you relax and sleep better. And obviously it's helping your body get toxins out. People think they just go in a regular sauna and oh, I'm detoxing. And it's it's not as good for by far. I would highly recommend looking into those two things. If you don't have anything like that near you, grab one of these. Grab one of these anyway, because like I said, if you're ill, you're not gonna be going out. So have all this stuff on hand. Please have all this stuff on hand. Um, and again, if you want um, the information to where, like like other protocol, because some people are still like, I don't really know, like I've heard zinc, I've heard quercetin, which actually that helps your body utilize the zinc. That's the purpose of that. You can get that locally you should be able to, no problem. But if you're like, how much do I take, blah, 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 shoot me a message. I will forward you this protocol with specifics plus where to get certain things if you're like, uh, where am I supposed to get that? So that is it, you guys. I am super happy to say that I have the antibodies and there's study upon study upon study that it is long lasting and far superior to the arm situation. I didn't want I didn't want to get the virus, but you know, I'm I'm glad that I've gotten through it and it was fine. I didn't have to go in. And you know what? I'll just be real, like there's some like somebody that had been double, you know what, um, is where this came from. If you have been, you know what, I'm not judging at all, meaning in the arm, if you have that. I'm not judging at all, but please understand that you can still spread it just as much. And I would argue more because people are like, oh, I'm fine. You're safer on me. Well, that's not what it means. So, all right, you guys, you can find me at thatvibrantlife.com, which is where you can connect with me, um, send me a message there. You can find me on Facebook at Vibrant Life or Instagram that underscore Vibrant Life. My podcast is sponsored by my family owned and operated business where we sell and ship um, pasture raised pork and chicken, non GMO, no soy, no corn, grass fed and finished beef, which actually we have a grain finished option now because so many people were wanting that because of the flavor, but it's still no antibiotics, no added hormones, all the good stuff sustainably raised in the Pacific Northwest. Um, if you're local, you're free to come pick it up. You can arrange that with us um, and just make sure that you check to see if we do ship to your state. We ship all up and down the West Coast, including Alaska, but you know, we don't ship to like New York and places like that. So check our FAQs on our website, oregonvalleyfarm.com. Have an awesome day, everybody.